Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a fake bokeh effect using Photoshop. So real quick, what is bokeh? What is the bokeh effect? Bokeh effect is kind of what you see back here. Normally it's done in camera where the uh, foreground or the subject here is extremely extremely sharp, but the background is kind of blurred out. And that's what's called bokeh. Uh, a lot of people call it bokeh or something like that, but I call it bokeh and it's just a blurring out of the background. And so uh, you can do this in camera, obviously, if you have the right lens and the, and the right camera and everything, right settings. Uh, but there's an easy way to do it in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to do that here and what I want to do is I want to single out this uh, this statue here but make the rest of it blurry so one, one thing I'm going to do is just highlight the statue I'm going to I'm going to cut out the statue basically from this layer so I'm going to get the uh, quick selection tool here and I'm just going to draw a rough selection over the statue over the whole statue I got to make sure I, in, I, I exclude this part air, uh, right here between the arm uh, and so I'm just going to draw this out real quick and as you can see, I don't have this selected. I, right now, I have this whole area selected. So uh, I have the, you can see in the middle of the crosshair, I got a plus icon. I need to hold Alt or Option. I'm going to get a minus, and that will allow me to deselect that area right there and also this little tiny area over here that I messed up on. Just make sure I got everything else uh, selected. And now we have our selection here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Select and Mask. And uh, my view is selected as black here, and you can change your views depending on what you like. You can cut it completely out and just see a transparent background, uh, marching ants right here, an overlay, a, a different color overlay, black. I just use black on this one because it's easier. Uh, and all I'm going to do is do a smart radius, and you can see it kind of feathers it out a little bit and makes it a little bit better of a selection. Uh, but I'm going to take it down just a little bit much because it doesn't need a whole lot. I did a pretty good job of selecting the statue. So now the output is the, the next thing I'm going to change the output to. I'm going to select that and say new layer with layer mask. So I'm going to click on that one and now I'm going to click OK. And as you can see we have a new layer. The statue is completely cut out. Uh, but now I want to toggle on my background layer. So I'm going to toggle that back on and you can see it looks like the original photo. Uh, but this is where the magic comes in. Now that this is selected, this is tack sharp. Uh, even if I were to take that off, it's still the same photo. Uh, but this is tack sharp, but I want to apply a blur to the background layer. So I'm going to go to filter blur gaussian blur you could also use lens blur that that does a that does a really good effect uh, but gaussian blur is kind of a simple simple easy blur and it does the job pretty well so uh, this radius is set at, at 10.1 and you can play with uh, the the varied blurring effects that you want on here so uh, this is where the photo started uh, and you can see i'm just kind of blurring it a little bit more and this basically just gives it a fake bokeh effect. It makes the subject stand out more uh, than it normally would on a uh, on the image that you had originally. So I'm going to keep mine roughly around uh, 8.9, 8, uh, 8 8.8, somewhere around there. So I'm just going to click OK. And this is our after photo. So let's look at the before here. So all I'm going to do is toggle this off. I'm going to deactivate this. I'm going to disable that. So this was our before. And it, uh, it's still a fairly good photo. You got a, a very good bokeh effect here. But now I'm going to turn this on and re-enable that. And you can see the effect it gives there. So that's an easy way to make a fake bokeh effect in Photoshop. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from SleekLens.com. And I'll see you in the next video.